Hello everyone and welcome back to server again. Within this video, we are going to see that how to create a docker file and what docker file is. So this is just a sample file that how you can build your own docker file. So let me tell you that what are the components of it. First of all, we have to write from. So from is going to be your base image. Like we have been working with Alpine for quite long, quite some time. So Alpine is going to be our base image. Now run. Run is the command. For example, uh, Alpine is only base image where are only couple of files and couple of folders are available. So what type of packages do we want to install within Alpine image? Because whenever this image will be ready to be used, so what type of packages will be added while this image is being stored? So these things we need to keep in mind. We, we have to run the command and keep this in mind. All the commands will be in caps. And then after the particular program which you need to run inside that container or inside that image that will be in small. Then after command, once the image is built and you are going to run that image, so what command will get executed at that moment. So you need to keep that thing also in mind. So let us see this thing in action. For example, I have a folder created name as docker. So I will create a file docker file docker file has to be in same format if you uh, like change the name so it can create a problem so now what i need to write from i will mention here alpine now i will type in here run like what command do i need to run so the command was apk add hyphen hyphen update and after that you need to mention that is what package you want to install then after cmd it means command what command you want to run at that moment when your container will, will, uh, will be installed and your uh, image will get ready. So I want to run redis hyphen server. One more best practice is here that whenever you are creating a docker file, so keep this cover proper commented. It means proper comment should be there. So uh, this is our base image to create docker image then after you can type in here this is this software will be installed in container image now next this command will get ex executed at containers startup so this is how you can uh, like uh, you can create your docker image once you have created docker file once again let us read it so from alpine so from Alpine is going to be a base image. What command do you want to run within your uh, image? What package you want to get added? Then after what command will be your entry point? It means whenever you will run your container. So what command will get executed? You can mention within this section here. Okay. So now what you need to do is you need to run a command. Docker. Build and dot. What does this dot means? It means this is going to define where a Docker file is available. So run this command and it will fetch some uh, detail obviously as you can see like it is downloading something from internet as internet is running more on my server then after it is executing redis this is this so all the things are taking place so now as you see that build successfully this one so one image has been executed what if i want to run here like uh, docker run hyphen it and after that this image name i want to give so as soon as I give, so you can check it here that ready to accept connection. If this thing comes, it means you are good to go with your Redis has been installed and that is listening on port number. This is this PID is this. So rest of three things you can check it here. So this is how guys you can build your Docker file and you can start utilizing it. So this is it for this video guys. Thank you very much for watching. See you next video. Thank you.